What it do y'all and welcome back to my channel. So very briefly, I just want to thank everybody that has taken the time to still continue to follow me. It has been a crazy month for me personally and the month has not even really truly began. So once again, thank you for all of those who liked my community post. And in case you did not see it, I basically said that this month is going to be very steep for me uploading wise. And I'm gonna aim to get a video up every week and then a short up every week. Last week I did not get a video up, but that truly just shows you how hectic this month is going to be and it sounds like it's going to get even more hectic for me in my personal life so once again just i just thank you from the bottom of my heart for continuing to stick with me rock with me all of that jazz as for my uh tutorial and like my eye look and everything that's going on with my base i did not film it but i will have it in a pinned comment along with i'm sure the rest of the description box because i tend to have a full description box in these videos because i do only film these once every two weeks so yeah i will have all of that information down below there are some new items there are some old items i was just kind of sitting down playing while watching some videos i really haven't even had time to watch youtube from other creators so it was just nice to sit down for however long i was sitting here just getting ready do not know this is my new makeup releases that is inspired by samantha march's will i buy it series i always have her series and the community playlist linked down below as well as all the instagram pages i follow to get all of this makeup knowledge and then lastly but certainly not least i have all of the items listed and linked down below if there is an asterisk behind the link that means that it is affiliated link if you shop through it i definitely truly do appreciate it otherwise it's absolutely no worries i'm just happy that you guys took the time to click on this video and watch me talk about new makeup um and so yeah pretty much at the very beginning of these videos after doing whatever kind of intro i need to do i like to showcase any new makeup that i have physically received or any new kind of beauty because sometimes i do pick up more like fragrance instead of makeup and although i have not been picking up a lot of makeup mainly because i just i have a lot and i that will be coming up specifically when i talk about what i plan to do for the sephora vib sale but I do want to talk about, I think there were three different products shipments that I've received that are in the beauty realm. So I decided to make a quite substantial order, I feel like, when it comes to samples at Lucky Scent. Now, if you don't know, Lucky Scent does a lot of like sample of pretty much everything that they have available on their site to purchase full size. So I decided to pick up, I think like, a good amount like nine or ten samples alone and there were a couple that i'm into a couple i'm not i haven't really kind of fully dived into them and mainly that's because a majority of the samples are in these like blotter daughter type things and i just you can't really get the full oomph of them but the most expensive one and the one that i was truly most intrigued to try is actually what about pop oh this is from the house of oud and this is the seven milliliter sample everything else i literally just got a sample size and pretty much they were done by the uh like the house brand they like basically took bottles and they just decanted them into these smaller like blotter type um packaging so this was the only one that really came with the spray it wasn't exactly what i was expecting but i also didn't know what to expect it's a popcorn smell so there is that i haven't sprayed it on me i've just sprayed it on sheets pretty much all of the products that's all i've done so i definitely want to dive into that but i don't know there's some definitely some hesitation on that then i want to say it was last weekend i received an email from maxorama and i have talked about this website quite a few times now i feel like on my community post because i feel like they give very solid discounts if you know 
what to pick up. You can't pick up everything because sometimes things just aren't the best price on their site, but sometimes I think you can get a really good discount. It is actually where I got my um, Baccarat Rouge from, and now I got another full size from this site. And this one I got is Jazz Club. Now I got the 100 milliliter or 3.4 fluid ounce bottle for less than a hundred dollars while this retails for i want to say 168 dollars at sephora now this is definitely one of those scents that i enjoyed i went through my full travel size and i was planning on actually waiting to pick this up during the winter version of the sephora sale but when i did the calculations picking it up during the sale from maxarama i got a lot better of a discount so i did go ahead and pick it up it literally came today, yesterday, one of these days. Um, it's been some time since I've had this in my collection. I wanna say a solid year or maybe last year, so winter is when I finished it. And it's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. Between this and um, fireplace, I actually go through this a lot quicker. So that's why I got the bigger size of this. And I will still aim to get a smaller size of um, by the fireplace, but very, very happy to have jazz club in my collection now. And yeah, I'm starting my replica collection. Okay, the last order that I received, and then we will dive right into the new makeup releases is actually from Sigma Sigma Beauty. So they have been doing quite a few sales lately. They do quite a few like 40% off sales. So I would personally tell you to wait on those times and then just dive into whatever you're interested in. But there were quite a few things that I wanted to pick up from the brand and I'm happy. There are some things that I should have picked up, but it's all good. So first thing I got was the cleaning mat. I am notorious for never cleaning my brushes and I'm trying to find ways to make it easier for me to one go through the process of cleaning them but also be more willing to clean them so this is a bigger mat than I already had so I'm hopeful that this will kind of speed up the process and once again just have me more interested and more okay with actually cleaning my brushes I also got their makeup cleanser tool, which is basically like a circle that is literally has the cleanser inside. And all you have to do is wet the brush and I think just dig into the actual compartment. And so this will make me, I feel like, a little bit easier to cleaning my brushes other than using like a bar of soap. So very excited for that. Of course, every time you make an order at Sigma, they always give you like a sample of their shampoo, which I do believe I have a full size of this shampoo and I do enjoy it, so there's that. And then I got two brushes and one makeup product. So one brush I got was the Round Kabuki brush. I just honestly have been using makeup brushes a lot more from foundation than I was in the past. And because of that, I don't have a lot of foundation brushes. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. The shape looks like a shape that I would really enjoy. And since I love the quality of Sigma brushes, I wanted to pick this up. And then I have heard nothing but raving reviews from Laura May Beauty on this Power Sculpt brush for highlighter. And so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. As you can see, it's still in the packaging along with all of these items, but I am excited, very, very excited to open up the packaging, clean the brushes, and then try them for myself to see if they're perfect for me. And then the last product that I picked up, like I said, is the only makeup product. I don't have a lot of makeup from Sigma Beauty, but I have a splash of makeup from the brand in my collection. And I've done a video featuring it during, I wanna say Women's History Month, somewhere around there. And so I picked up their eyeshadow primer base because I hear a lot of good things about them. And I really do enjoy a good creamy base as a base don't get me wrong i love my about face eyeshadow primer as well but i really do enjoy a cream shadow for a base not only like my laura mercier but just the actual you know what i mean so anyways i wanted to try this this is in the shade earthen and i felt like this was like the one that was closest to my skin tone and it pretty much is it's not as warm as my skin tone but it's it's 
warm enough it's good enough that i think when i blend it out it's going to look pretty much like my skin tone it's not going to look overly light or overly dark and so that's exactly what i wanted i want to test out the formula and if I love the formula, then maybe I will go back and kind of really go in with some more of the shades in this one. So this is all I picked up. Let me scoot over and we'll get into the new makeup releases. Alrighty, so ColourPop is coming out with their new and improved formulation when it comes to their shadow stick formula i'm intrigued i can't say that i'm not as you guys just saw i really do enjoy a cream base i have a cream eyeshadow base on today from the huda beauty matte um eyeshadow palette the last time i put on makeup i was doing it to hang out with a friend and i reached for my laura mercier cream base i really do enjoy bringing in a cream base so to be quite honest i could genuinely see me putting this in a card at ulta or even when i'm in ulta just throwing it in my bag to pick up is this something that I'm going to make an order from ColourPop? Absolutely not. I don't think these are all that expensive. Maybe like six, oh, seven dollars each, which isn't terrible, especially if you're only picking up like a shade for it to be your base. I think that's perfectly content and fine. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but not something that I'm going to rush out for. Uh, Byredo is coming out with their latest eyeshadow palette. And this is their Remembrance palette. I think this is fine. It is very, very basic. And don't get me wrong, as I've said time and time again, I'm really enjoying the basic neutrals, brownie, slightly warm, mustardy tones, all about it. I'm all about it. This is more pinky tones, so that's just not me. Don't get me wrong. Every time I put on a pink eyeshadow look, I feel like everybody and their mother loves the look on me. And I do think I have kind of the undertone and the skin complexion to really pull off pinks. It's just not something that I enjoy pulling off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with two new products. She's coming out with a new mascara and also liquid eyeshadows. Based on the image that they have shown in this promotion with the model with the eyeshadow on, it does not look like it's gonna be something that I would be halfway interested in. As for the mascara, I'm perfectly content with the amount of mascaras that I have. I have a travel size that it's at the end of it. I think I have maybe one other full size that's open and or one full size that's not open. I'm pretty content with my mascaras. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Art is coming out with their revamped Park Avenue Princess collection. And I believe they're coming out with more shades. Yeah, there are four shades. And I believe last time there were maybe three. I appreciate that they've come out with darker shades. At least one based on just seeing the one like model here that looks of a darker complexion let me know if you guys would like to see me review the bronzer it looks like they are coming out with maybe some other products as well a tinted brow duo i believe lauren may beauty already has raved about this brow gel so check her channel out in the event that you're interested um but yeah let me know if you guys are interested in seeing me talk about that particular bronzer. Merit has come out with new shades in their tinted lip oil and they have sent me their tinted lip oil previously. And although I enjoyed the formula, it was a very thin formula for me. I like a thicker formula that I feel is going to stay around for a longer period of time, especially because a lot of times I'm wearing tinted, tinted lip oil oils either under my mask or to bed and i really want that product to stay on my lips and keep them hydrated for an extended period of time so although these shades look beautiful and although i don't think that it is a bad formula it's just not the formula personally for me so i'm gonna go ahead and skip on these and save myself some money sephora has also brought in a new kind of hair brand with some hair kind of electronics and this is shark beauty I've never tried this brand, never really heard about them. And for me, I'm not going to be picking this up. If I pick up a hair dryer soon, which I do think I may go ahead and pick one up, it is going to be from Pattern. I'm really interested to see that particular hair dryer because of the 
innovation and how much time and attention came into what they did and like how the heads are clicked in and they stay when you're using them. I just really like that innovation and I think I'm really want to put my money towards that. Morphe has come out with their Heat Seeker collection. This is, you know, a Tarte packaging knockoff. The color scheme looks fine, but just not something for me. It looks like the 35-0 just put in a different packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Sol de Janeiro is coming out with a new body cream, and this is their Rio Radiance Body Glow Cream. I have two full size body creams from this brand, and although I do enjoy their body creams, I am truly trying to use the body creams that I do have. I have quite a few from Bath and Body Works, and so I really wanna just kind of narrow those down and kind of just stick with certain scent families that I get the most use out of when it comes to a body cream, you know? Or just have one or two for the others that are more fruity, more this, more that. So for me, I'm gonna skip on this, but I'm sure it's a beautiful smelling body cream and I'm sure the scent is beautiful overall. I just, I don't need it. I really don't need it. Melt has already come out with their 420 collection and this is their Electro Trip collection. Not something that I'm interested in. I think that it looks cute. I like the kind of neutral warm side of things. It's a little bit more peachy than pinky. I do appreciate that, but it's just not something that I feel like I need. I feel like the last time I really loved a Mel eyeshadow palette was a really long time ago. And I just don't have the time right now. I really don't. I have one or two eyeshadow palettes already. There's like one or two that I think already released or are releasing this weekend that I forgot about. I just, I don't have the time to deal with this um, personally, to like pick it up, to review it, to swatch it. I just don't have it in me right now. So this is gonna be something that I go ahead and skip. Juvia's Place is also coming out with some blush, li liquid blushes. And I think this is really, really cool. I think this is great. And I really like that they're sticking with their price range. I like the quantity. It does not look like a lot of product is in this, which is nice. Maybe I'll pick up a shade or two once again. If I'm making an Ulta order, I can just throw it in the cart. But otherwise, it's just not something that I feel I have to have to have. So I'm gonna be good. Something that I'm kind of on the fence about, I think it's already available now, so who knows if it's already sold out. But these are the Blend Bunny Cosmetics um, new collection. So they have two blush palettes out, one that's more bright and kind of colorful and the other one that's more neutral, kind of dull. And then they also have some lip oils coming out as well. Now for me, I have been somebody who has been very vocal about not feeling any type of way about picking up another lip oil here and there. Why? Because I have enough purses or I'm just going through my products. And don't get me wrong, I am going through my products. I'm very surprised and happy with the use that I am seeing in that avenue. But at the same time, I feel like I have enough right now. I really do. I have some in drawers. I have some in my actual lip collection. I have some next to my bed. I have some in the purses, in the book bag. I have enough. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I wanna see some reviews from YouTubers that get this in PR. I wanna hear what they would compare this formula to, especially cause quite a few YouTubers that get PR from this brand have tried like the Lunar Beauty lip oils, which they are one of my favorite lip oil formulas. So if they compare it to that, then I can kind of know what I'm working with, especially cause like the Rare Beauty lip oils have come out. And although I haven't tried those, I have tried others that people have compared that product to. And so it's just helping me personally to kind of choose wisely where to use my money. And so for that reason, I am going to pass on this collection temporarily. As for the blush palettes, I think they look beautiful. If I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with the more brighter blush palette. Although there is definitely some shades in that lighter kind of more neutral one that I think is gorgeous as well. I just fear that 
less of the shades and that more neutral one would actually work on my skin tone. So that's why I would mainly go for the bigger one or the brighter one because I know all of the shades in that one would work for me. It looks like Zit Sticker is sneak peeking the fact that they're going to be coming out with a new product that is supposed to be helping fight against acne to in a stronger, better, and faster way. I'm definitely intrigued to see what's going with that. This brand is very well known for the actual stickers that you put on your zits or your um, pimples and they kind of dry them out. So very, very excited to see what they come up with. Dior has showcased a new collection where they have bronzers, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, and a lipstick. I think this all looks fine. Um, very few times have I picked up some Dior stuff, although I do enjoy the Dior stuff that I have. But this is not very exciting, very interesting, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Makeup Revolution has come out with a new collection. This is their Crystal Oral Collection. And for me, I feel like these are three color schemes and three palettes that this brand has already done before. They've just done it under a different collection name. Maybe the actual colors have been switched around in a different kind of configuration, but these palettes look very, very familiar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'm a pass because I didn't want them before, so I, there's no reason for me to want them now. Elf Cosmetics has come out with some more hollow wands and Honestly, Charlotte Tilbury, <laughs> it's very funny because I also think I have pinned, I saw something new from Charlotte Tilbury as well, but let's talk about these e.l.f. products. So they have come out with not only the blushes, but the highlighters and the contours for this as well. Um, I think this is cool. I really do like this. Is this something that I need? I don't really know. I don't really know. I think I have one of these products maybe in my cart at Ulta. I'm sure by now it's sold out and I honestly, once again, haven't had the time, not really cared to press it to pick up the products um, because I want to see. I want to see from other people, people who are rolling in money from this, that, and the third locations. I want to see them review this because, you know, I ain't rolling in money, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the bigger YouTubers to tell me if this is something that I need. Trixie Cosmetics has come out with their Extravaganza collection, and this is their 420 collection. I think this is a really cute palette. I like it. I like the fact that you kind of can put the shimmer with the matte very easily you also can see some pretty easy quads if you just look in the four quadrants or the three quadrants i think this is really cute i really do like it is this something that i have to pick up not necessarily but i'm very intrigued to see if anybody that i follow does pick it up I'll definitely watch the video. I feel like every time I come on here and I talk about new makeup releases, there is a new MAC product that I am intrigued by or I think is a great, per, um, a great release for the brand. And that is really exciting. When I came into makeup, MAC, MAC had already kind of started to fall down, if you will, because I came into makeup around 2016, 20, no, no, that's wrong like 2015, 2016. Right around that period is when I started really, really paying attention to makeup in the social media kind of sphere. And so Mac was really, she wasn't popping. She wasn't popping. But I feel like each time I come on here and I talk about a new release, these are genuine releases that I think will actually slowly put the brand back on the map. Now, it's unfortunate that they no longer do their back to map program. Um, I actually do still have like quite a few like lip products that I declutter throughout the years, just chilling, waiting for me to take it to a Mac store. It's perfectly fine. I really don't need another bullet lipstick, so I'm content with just recycling them with the brand but it is just unfortunate especially when i feel like they're starting to really potentially make waves in like the social media realm of the makeup industry so in this time they're coming out with their squirt plumping gloss sticks it did not need to be named squirt at all but this is basically a glowy lip 
stick. And I don't know if this is going to be closer to like the pigmentation level of the Makeup by Mario sticks or if it's going to be a more pigmented version of that. But either way, I think this is something that is very, very popular, very, very on the nose right now. And now that I'm looking at the swatches, I would say it's more on that Makeup by Mario kind of pigmentation level. So I think this is going to be very, very popular and I can't wait to see this release. I'm still waiting for it to release for them to release the bronzers. Last time I went in store um, just to see if I could swatch it and see if I could find a shade, they did not have them in store. So I'm still very much actively kind of trying to remember to go to a Mac store when I happen to be in a mall. And if I can see this product as well, I will definitely swatch it. And if I find one, maybe by then I will have finished a couple more of my lip balms and I'll pick it up. So this is something that I am I'm going back and forth about. So I am one of those people that I do truly enjoy by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. I really enjoy it. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful, sweet, sweet, decadent scent that works beautifully in the winter and cooler months. That said, Love Don't Be Shy, every year lately has been coming out with their flankers that are limited edition and this flanker is the amber and oud scent now unfortunately when it comes to these flankers i they are only available at the killian website so you have to pick them up pretty much full price because i've never seen this brand um do any form of sales on their site and then there i don't believe they even take returns so you're really like hoping and praying that you're picking up something that you're going to enjoy. For this perfume, they say the notes are the Oud Accord, Amber Accord, Rose Essence, and Akigala Wood. For me, I'm concerned about the Oud. I have a level of tolerance when it comes to Oud, and if you cross it, I can't handle it. I get a migraine. I just, I can't. I literally have to shower the product off because I can't cope with it. And my concern is I don't know if this is going to be too strong of oud, but I think the amber in addition, I don't know. If you've picked this up by chance, please let me know. Um, I've been trying to stock fragrance net to see the different comparisons. People always compare it to other flankers. That's not helpful for me because I only have the original. And so, yeah. If you know of a, a place that actually has it in store, that I could smell it, or maybe I'll check the website again to see if they will take returns. I hate returning, I genuinely dislike it, but I just, I really think this would be a beautiful scent. And I'd be intrigued to see if this is something that I could wear maybe during the, the summer months, although I know they came out with like their version of Love Don't Be Shy for the summer already. So yeah, either way, I'm just very excited and I feel like this would just be a really beautiful scent. Another beautiful scent that has been released is by Juliet Has a Gum. This is Lust for the Sun, Eau de Parfum. So the notes here are... Ylang Ylang, Coconut, and Vanilla. I really do enjoy the Juliet Has a Gun DNA. I really, really do. I, of course, have Pear Ink, which I feel like is one of their most common scents that people really, really have. I genuinely enjoy Ylang Ylang. I have quite a few scents that have some coconut in there, and I love vanilla. So I wouldn't see me not enjoying this scent. That said, I don't think I'm going to try to kind of buy this scent in the travel or the full size. I'm not that intrigued by it, but if I happen to be in a Sephora store and I can smell it, spray it, I can definitely see me doing that. A new shade coming from the Tarte Blush Tape Liquid Blush range, and this one is a darker tone, and this is Cherry. I appreciate that we're getting some darker tones in like pretty much all of these ranges, especially from Tarte. I think that's their one positive, is they have given us a wider range than Charlotte Tilbury. And even if you're comparing this to like the e.l.f. range, the e.l.f. blushes are a lot more of like a highlighter type of blush. It's a very glowy blush. It's not going to be a straight up blush like the um, 
like the Charlotte Tilbury matte blushes where you get a true amount of pigment in comparison to her glowy blushes that she has had for years and years. So for me, um, I really appreciate what Tarte is doing. They're giving you that glowy kind of feel, but in a darker range. I really do appreciate it. Am I going to be picking it up? I don't know. I've not heard the best things about this range, so... I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you really, really want to see me trying it out. Unearthly Cosmetics is coming out with, I believe, a new palette, and this is their Don't Be Jelly palette. I think this is an interesting palette. Q, I like the quads that she created in this palette. Three different quads, as you can see. But the brand, oh, they're, they're multi-chromes. They look to be multi-chromes, maybe two. I don't know how many overall, but it looks like maybe two multi-chromes in this palette as well. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not fully in love with it, and especially depending on when this releases, I really, really want to get the Glaminatrix new eyeshadow palette. Um, and I feel as though in the back of my head, a depth may be coming out with a particular palette soon. I feel like I've seen some hints here and there. So yeah, I think I might pass on this, but definitely, definitely let me know. Something that I need to come in the US, I need this, I need this now, is from Bobbi Brown. So if you've been on my channel for years, and I do mean years, I had two miniature size Bobbi Brown bricks. I had them, I did enjoy the formula, but the shades were just not perfect. I ended up like mixing them and hodgepodging them. One was like a lot lighter and that worked beautifully for one of my closest, closest friends. And the other one was a lot darker for me and I liked it, but you know, the hodgepodge, it didn't really pan completely or not, not pan, it didn't really set completely and it was just, it was a bit of a mess. So I ended up, I think, decluttering it or th probably throwing it away. But this trio, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So I'm talking about the deep trio where you have Copper Glow, Copper Illuminate, no wait, Copper Glow, Spiced Terracotta and their Caramel Deep Bronzer. Now, I do want to say vaguely in the back of my head, I have tried to swatch the Bobbi Brown bronzers and they did not appear that they would work on my skin tone via swatch. Sometimes products don't look like they're going to work on your skin, swatching them, specifically bronzer, until you really build it up on your skin and on that base kind of provided there. So I'm not going to fully, fully count me out of picking this up because the whole, the whole kit and caboodle looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So I really want the deep one. Um, it is already available now in Asia and Australia. I really need this to come to the U.S. or for somebody to make it available in like an Amazon or something. I don't really care. I just want to get my grubby hands on that. Thank uh, you. Okay, just a couple more things left to talk about. Once again, this is already available in Europe. And these are some duos from Benefit in which you get a bronzer and a blush. I really do like this. I really like this kind of packaging and this aesthetic. Now, if you did not know, I actually have Hula Toasted. I really, really do enjoy it. And... I may or may not now have the shade Crystal. So I definitely will be talking to you guys about these two shades in the future. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I can tell you guys whether I think it is warranted or necessary for somebody of my skin tone to get the duo set because I'm sure overall the cost benefit is going to be there. There are some Sephora sets available now, of course, because they're priming and getting ready for the Sephora sale that is coming up literally later this week. I don't know when I'm uploading this video, so hopefully it's a couple more days before that sale. But um, there are a couple different sets. They have one that's all about the Clean Me Up set, the Vacay All Day set, and the Summer Must Have sets. 
None of these sets look perfect for me and I typically honestly don't get these types of sets. I get the perfume sets. I really enjoy picking those up, getting my full size, my travel size, whatever have you, and just getting my nose on more scents and seeing what is truly gonna work for me and also getting them at a better discount. That said, I definitely think if there's a set in here that you think is going to work beautifully for you, get it during the sale because they already put the products in these kits on a discount. And then when you get that kit on another discount, you just get a bigger bang for your buck. So that is what I would say. Like I said, I don't really pay attention to these kids. I really, it's just not my personality, not my thing. There you go. Now, ColourPop is now showing that they are gonna be doing an Alice in Wonderland collection. And they're gonna be having some powder blushes and eyeshadow palettes, some sticks, some lip products, the whole nine yards. It looks like hot, Fire makeup was able to get kind of stills that they created into a video so I will try if I can't from them from somewhere to get some photo stills just for you guys to see there's certain products of this video or of this collection that I think are really nice I actually think that the eyeshadow palette is cute I like the color scheme there but I don't know how much depth I would get and I have found that although I can like a color scheme if I am not guaranteed some form of depth somehow I'm not gonna reach for the palette um so I don't think I'm gonna be picking anything up from this collection but who knows like I said if it comes to Ulta and I'm feeling froggy one day which is very few and far between when it comes to ColourPop, then I may go ahead and pick it up. So yeah, I feel like today's video, I was talking about a lot, but there's really not a lot that is tempting me. And that truly is just because of where I'm at in my personal life and everything that's going on there. I feel like when you got a lot going on in one place, you can't necessarily justify splurging here, splurging there, you know? And you see the benefit in like using all of your products. And I've just been enjoying using up my products may not be using up my makeup you know as quickly as i have in some years just because i haven't had the time to put makeup on as much but i still have been enjoying using up my beauty products and i can't wait to give you guys an empties i'm pretty sure i'm almost ready for an empties because my drawer is almost full again which is fantastic i really love that um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to do maybe two uploads video wise this week um we'll see what happens but yeah continue to rock with me guys check out down below in case you want to see any of the products linked that i was talking about and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys